Hello, welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we'll continue our topic, stoichiometry. Okay. In our previous lesson, we established uh, the concept of mole. Is it not? We define mole as what the number of particles as there is in twelve gram of carbon, twelve isotope. Is it not? And we said this value is equivalent to Avogadro's number, which is six point zero two three or two two times ten to the power what twenty. Three what particles or atoms or molecules or ions as the case may what be is it not now generally chemistry or chemists use the mole to measure the amount of a uh, substance or determine the uh, quantity of reactant they can mix together to get the what desired product this mole is very small okay the unit can be converted into grams and also what volume that is what i'm going into so you should know here that one mole of a substance occupy 22.4 dm cube at standard temperature and what pressure okay it's very important to know that and you already know it before we can convert the mole from our uh, reaction into mass and what volume remember we say stoichiometry determine the quantity or is the quantitative aspect of what chemical reaction it measures the amount in more of reactants coming together and then the amount of product what formed with the knowledge of this more concept we can actually use them to solve stoichiometry problems which involve more to more conversion more to mass conversion more to volume conversion mass to mass conversion and then mass to volume what conversion all right and then uh, i told you in our previous class that you must always remember that the amount of a substance is the mole, the mass of the substance, divided by the molar mass of what? The substance. And then I also told you that you remember that one mole of any substance at standard temperature and pressure will occupy 20.4 watt dm cube. With these two formula established in your head, the next thing you need to know in solving stoichiometry problem is the mole ratio in chemical what? Equation. When you have a balanced chemical equation or you balance a chemical equation, the values that are written in front of the chemical equation, we we'll call them the mole, is it not? Yes. Those values are equivalent to what? The mole. Okay? They're equivalent to the mole, as you will see shortly. They are standard conditions. We also e express them as what? The volume. Take note of that. All right. With these two concepts about equation established, let's now dive into a simple problem, beginning with... Uh, mole to mass stoichiometry okay in this case you will be given equation the mole ratio and then from the mole ratio you should be able to determine or you will be able to determine the amount of substance in mole that reacts to form what a specific what product and this value can then be converted into what mass by using our formula amount of a substance equals to what the mass of the substance or the reacting mass of the substance divided by the what molar mass of the what substance now this example say that we should calculate the mass of the product calcium chloride produced from reacting 0.25 moles of limestone in excess of what hydrochloric what acid now this relationship is determined by using the mole to mass what uh concept is it not here you are giving 0.25 more and then you ask to look for the what the mass so the first thing to do of course step one is to write a balance what equation from the equation we see that one mole of calcium carbonate combined with what two mole of hcl to give us one mole of calcium chloride one mole of water and one mole of what carbon four oxide of course now since you now know their mole ratio you cannot use your mole ratio to determine the mole of uh, calcium chloride that will be what produced why because from the equation you already see that one mole of a uh, calcium carbonate is combining with two mole of what acl but we see that one mole of calcium will produce one mole of what calcium chloride is it not yes so if, if you compare the mole ratio of calcium carbonate and calcium chloride is one ratio one yes is it not yes. so here you simply express your relationship by comparing the mole ratio of the calcium carbonate and that of the calcium chloride it now becomes one mole of calcium carbonate yield one mole of uh, calcium chloride therefore 0.25 mole of calcium carbonate 
we yield x mole of calcium chloride and then you make x the solute of formula by cross multiplying and then your answer will be 0 0.25 mole of calcium chloride now this is not the end of our question we are asked to look for the mass of calcium what chloride that is why you now introduce those fundamentals i just told you now you now convert this 0 0.25 mole of calcium chloride into mass by introducing the formula since you know that the mole of a substance is equal to the mass of the substance or the reacting mass of the molar mass you can make the mass is subject of formula by multiplying the molar mass and the what the mole is it not yes so molar mass times mole we give you gram because the mole we cancel out is it not yes so that gives us so that gives us 0 0.25 mole of calcium chloride times the molar mass of calcium chloride which is 111 gram per mole so of course mole we cancel per mole is it not and then you are left with your final answer which is what can you give me the answer yes you can give me the answer that is uh, 27 point what 75 grams of what calcium chloride similarly you can also convert the exact amount of uh mole of calcium carbonate that combined with this is it not do that as your own assignment just try to tell us the amount of calcium chloride a calcium carbonate in gram that form this uh, calcium chloride let's now look at the next one which is mass to volume what stoichiometry ratio at this point in time it is important to know that one mole of any substance is equal to the molar mass of the substance okay remember we established all this in our first class we say one mole of a substance of of a compound or any substance is equal to the molar mass of what that substance you know yes we also know that one mole of any substance as STP will occupy 22.4 dm cube. Is it not? Yes, take note. That is what we call the molar volume. Okay, the molar volume of any substance is 22.4 dm cube. So, with these two established, we can either calculate volume to mass or mass to volume. Okay, let's take a quick example. The question says calculate the volume of hydrogen chloride gas that can be obtained at standard temperature of pressure from 5.85 gram of sodium chloride in its reaction with dilute sulfuric acid again our first step is to balance the what equation is it not yes so we have two mole of sodium chloride combining one mole of h sulfur to give us one mole of sodium sulfate and two moles of what hydrogen chloride we write out our what mole ratio that is our mole ratio will now be two ratio one ratio one ratio two is it not yes now in this question our concern is what the sodium chloride is it not yes which contains 5.85 grams is it not and the what hydrogen chloride gas is it not which we don't know yet so now we are asked to what determine the what volume so from our expression we know that two moles of sodium chloride actually yielded two moles of hydrogen chloride gas so we need to convert the 5.85 gram to moles and then we relate that and then if we get our final value for the mole we will now convert it to what to volume since it, it, it is at stp is it not yes you must record that one mole is equivalent to what 22.4 dm cube is it not at stp so record that the amount of a substance is the reacting mass over the what molar mass here we are looking for the amount we are looking for the mass so we simply substitute our formula is it not yes what is the value of the reacting mass there 5.85 what gram what about the molar mass of course you know how to calculate the molar mass is it not it will be the uh the sum of sodium molar mass and chlorine what molar 58.5 gram per mole so if i divide um, 5.85 gram all over 58.5 gram per mole my gram will cancel out my gram is it not yes living with my what mole so when you do this division you will have i think 0 0.1 moles of what sodium chloride now that you have successfully convert to mole we can now easily relate our what 
uh, value is not yes from the equation and then using this value so two moles of NaCl yield two moles of ACL therefore 0 0.1 moles of NaCl we yield x more or y more of a HCl is it not yes and then you make your y distributor formula by cross multiplying you end up having your answer as 0 0.1 mole of what hydrogen chloride why because they are more ratio of what similar is it not yes from here now we cannot convert this 0 0.1 mole of ACL into volume is it not yes how do you do that you recall that one mole of the substance occupy 22.4 dm cube is it not yes so therefore 0 0.1 mole of what acl will occupy what 0 0.1 times what 22.4 dm cube is it not and you end up having your answer as 2.24 dm cube is it not yes again observe that <coughs> across multiply and i cancel out unit always be careful of your unit okay in chemistry or any science field be careful of your new unit your unit alone will guide you on how to solve any calculation problem okay that is one secret in calculation or calculating any equations in what chemistry all right that will bring me to the end of this section uh, there are some examples available for you to do try them out and see how good you are see you in next class bye